I was working in hardware previously and I really enjoyed working on products that were hands-on where you're iterating on the design of a product, on the production environment in which something is made. And I wanted to work on products where you have a really large team working on a, something that hasn't been done before. And that's where I learned about Helion. And the more I started to read about Helion, the more I learned about the success of Trenta. That's what really piqued my interest in, in Helion, but also in, in Fusion. I think one of the things I enjoy most about my job is the team that I get to work with. There are some like really, really talented people here. There's a lot of you know, diversity of backgrounds that people come from at Helion. And I think especially in production, it's so important. They're creative, they're intelligent, they're also really driven. Um, and I do really like how motivated people are about fusion, about the environment, about providing renewable energy. Um, and I think that keeps me super motivated. Yeah, the production team here at Helion consists of a large number of technicians, engineers, and supervisors. And we build a variety of different hardware on the floor. We build um, in-house capacitors. We build larger assemblies that we call our pallets with a lot of different electronics. We're also, in a lot of cases, building the actual infrastructure in which we make these products. So that means like the physical layout of the floor, the flow of parts, the processes we use. In a lot of ways, we're doing, you know, brand new designs, we're doing R&D, but we're also producing at higher volumes, maybe stepping outside of what is more traditionally considered, you know, this type of role in production. And I think that's been hard, but I also think it makes for a really exciting environment. I think the one achievement that I'm really proud of is the capacitor manufacturing team finishing out our builds for Polaris. We had to drastically increase the rate that we can produce. We had to drastically increase our yield, which meant a lot of collaboration between our design engineering team and the technician team as well. It was really motivating to to finish that and, and really like really check a, a large milestone off of the list of like, what do we need to do to get Polaris up and operational? Yeah, the next step for capacitor manufacturing is to um, take our production rates and, and scale that up, rethinking some of our requirements, rethinking the way we structure the production floor in order to be able to make a step change in, in production throughput, in performance of the capacitors, and also cost. Uh, but what we're really looking at is building up you know, more larger production facility and expanding our production facility so that we can produce at higher rates. Think about the manufacturability of your hardware in addition to the actual like, design that you're trying to implement. I think getting experience on both you know, heavy design and heavy research side, as well as getting experience in production. And I also think Helion is looking for people who think outside the box. We're trying to do something that you know, the world hasn't done before. Um, and we are actively doing things that the world hasn't done before. And we're not going to do that if we're only bringing people in from like one specific environment. We're going to do that by bringing in people who don't necessarily know the product, but have expertise in some other industry or some other, some other business.